crystallization. It is one of the most common one of separation processes involving solids. And first we're going to focus on the actual physical phenomena and then we are going to focus on the process itself. Okay, what's crystallization? It's the process by which a solid is going to be forming, but not only a solid, it's gonna be a solid which is highly organized between its atom or molecules. The, the structure in this specific case is, go is going to be called a crystal rather than just a solid. Typically forms of crystallization are via precipitation from a solution, which is, I would say, the one that you typically imagine. Freezing might also be forming crystals and deposition directly from a gas, which is not that common and we're not going to focus on that. Attributes of the resulting crystal will de typically depend on the factors such as temperature, pressure, and time. Crystallization is a purification step because it allows the material to form a solid, whereas other materials will remain in the solution. The conditions must be such that the impurities do not precipitate as well as the product. Crystallization occurs in two main steps. The first one, which is nucleation, the appearance of the crystalline phase from either a super cool liquid or a super saturated solvent. The second step is the crystal growth, which is also very important. Once that you form the nucleus or the nucleation, you will need to increase the size of such particles. And I don't know if you've watched Breaking Bad, guys, but there the crystal sizes and purity was one of the most important issues. Typically, the purest, the biggest, the crystal it was. In solution crystallization, the mixture, which includes a solvent, is going to be cooled down and the solvent is going to be removed by evaporation. In melt crystallization, two or more soluble species are separated by partial freezing. Okay, so now we can continue into the crystallization for our main process. It is a solid fluid separation, so that's important to consider. This might be solid liquid or solid gas, in which crystalline particles are formed from a homogeneous fluid phase. So you can imagine that when we form two phases, then we will be able to remove them easier. Ideally, crystals are pure chemicals. Typically, they are obtained in high yield with a desirable shape for formation of organic salts. The organic solvents such as acetic acid, ethyl acetate, methanol, ethanol, acetone, and others are going to be included. For aqueous solutions, you are going to be typically uh, affecting the rate of crystallization and shape with the following. How well and how long do you cool the solution, the evaporation of the solvent, or the combination of the two? The process overview is as follows. Crystallization is a liquid solid mass transfer operation. So please look how we started from solid fluid, but now it's more into liquid solid or solid liquid, because now we're going to be focusing mostly on solid liquid ratio. Here, the solid crystals are formed. They must be precipitated from the solution or melt, more likely to be uh, precipitated from solution, and they must be removed or separated. The substance being crystallized diffuses from liquid to solid phase. It then interacts with the solid surface where the crystals are going to be growing. Many of the impurities present in the solution are typically discarded during the crystallization, which is the main advantage, so that the product is obtained in a relatively pure form. So this is one of the greatest advantages in crystallizations. One of the main disadvantages is that not all materials are going to be forming crystals at the given conditions. Crystallization has been traditionally known to be one of the best and cheapest methods for obtaining very pure solids from impure solutions. They achieve desirable properties such as flowability, handling, packing, attractive appearance, and other properties. Particle properties like crystal structure, crystal size distribution, polymorphisms are also important to consider. And yeah, that's what I wanted to show you in general on the overview of the process. As I said before, guys, the main idea is to obtain a solid from a solution. And the main advantage is that it's going to be a very high pure material.